Diana Demerick here, rah, 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 and welcome back to some more cosy Christmas planning. Uh, maybe you're just here for a little uh, hygge break today. Why don't you uh, grab a blanket, uh, get yourself a pot of tea, get the candles going, sit in your, your, your cosy chair uh, and get cosy with me. I, I'm, I'm going to do my usual two things. I, I shall give you the Fly Lady missions for getting ready for uh, Thanksgiving, for Christmas. Remember, you, you can use these just as a little framework for any event that you're planning. And also, I'm going to tell you what I have been up to here in Copenhagen this week, including uh, some Christmas reading. So anyway, um, eyes down for a full house. You might want to just grab a pencil and paper along with your, your, your cup of tea. Uh, and some of the missions may apply to you, some of them may not. But anyway, you, you, you've heard it all before. So mission number 21 is clean and fling. The usual thing when you're doing your, your power hour clean this week uh, or your weekly upkeep clean, just take a, a look around and, and see, you know, what's in the living room? Have you got any obvious junk or recycling or stuff that needs to be put away? Uh, the same, you know, when you come into the, the house, maybe the, the whole cupboard. So that's number 21. Uh, number 22 relates to plan and play day in Fly Lady Land. Uh, are you sending gifts this year? You know, actually mailing things out because... Um, you know, th things are kind of different this year. You may need to factor in a, a bit longer uh, time for things to get there. We, we've got some token gifts to send to Scotland. And the other thing is uh, my daughter sending some gifts to a family that she stayed with in Japan last year. So we need to get moving on those because the especially um, outside of Europe, it, it really takes a, a long time for, for shipping. Um, and, and also if you've got any kind of local orders that you need to place, um, maybe you're ordering your, your turkey for Christmas or your duck, as usually is the case here in Denmark. Uh, mission number 23, which relates to anti-procrastination day. What about Christmas cards now? If you've been there, done that, hands up. <clears throat> and I used to do that thing like I had to have the perfect cards and I'd have to have the perfect Christmas stamps and have the right, uh, you know, pen for writing. And I know what happens, you have all these ideas and I kind of got lost in the perfectionism of it. And then I never actually got them written or sent out. Uh, and these days we don't send any Christmas cards because we're in touch with the people that we need to be in touch with via email uh, or on social media. So, and, and the cost of postage here in Denmark is horrendous for sending cards. So we just make a donation to charity. But if you're doing the card thing, start writing those. You know, don't worry about having the perfect uh, Christmas, Christmas photo of the kids. Just, just get it done. Um, number 24, mission number 24, uh, relates to Fly Lady Erin Day. Those parcels that we were talking about, have, have you got things, uh, you know, have you got all the things that you need to wrap them, the stamps, the sellotape, the, the string and brown paper, uh, and also, you know, get, get them posted. And I, I posted on uh, Instagram last week, because we've been talking about, you know, what can you stock up on of non-perishable goods right here, right now? And uh, I asked you to chime in. It was a lot of uh, fun things that came in. Uh, obviously, things like in, in Denmark, we have all been uh, stocking up on our calendar candles uh, and if you're making an advent candle you know the four different uh, candles for for uh, advent sundays maybe you want to stock up on those um rechargeable batteries uh, get those in for uh, kids toys if they're getting kind of uh, you know things that go uh, bling and twirl around and stuff like that anything electronic uh, butter i've stocked up on butter i've got it in the freezer for making cookies uh, things like puff pastry, cranberry sauce, um, uh, Christmas pudding. If you're in the in, in the UK or other or, or other parts around the globe that enjoy that, we we never had Christmas pudding in our family in Scotland. It was we always had like um, it would be like Black Forest Gatto or Trifle. That that was our Christmas pud. Uh, Stollen, uh, good old German favourite, uh, and things like uh, beans and soup and, and anything that you can stock up on for those, uh, you know, easy meals coming up to the, uh, the kind of rush during the holidays. Uh, and the last one for this week, mission number 25, once again, talking about the budget, have you kind of let things run away from you? Because, you know, we have the, these ideas like we're only going to spend this this year and this is what we want to spend on food. And then when we start seeing stuff in the stores and in the shops, we tend to maybe go a wee bit crazy. We've got to rein ourselves in again. Uh, and, and again, think about 
can we stop the kind of uh, giving of these uh, mindless gifts and just give a little token gift uh, or something that has been uh, that you've made yourself or has been bought second hand you know let, let's go a wee bit more green um, and then I'll tell you what I've been up to this week. Uh, what, one of the things that I'm going to be doing with the next couple of days is putting together a few uh, outfits for Christmas. And I've made videos about that the, the previous uh, last uh, couple of years. And, and it's just that fact of having a few things ready instead of suddenly thinking, you know, where, where, where's my Christmas sweater or my uh, snowman earrings or what, whatever it is you like to do. And, and uh, here I, I kind of keep it simple. And of course, we're in Denmark, so we layer a lot. I, I use a lot of um, fluffy sweaters and go for kind of a, you know maybe a white fluffy sweater and, and red uh, lips things like that I'll, I'll link to the the previous videos that I've made but maybe you want to think about that just put a few outfits together just, just a wee bit bling um, and, and please don't go down that road this year thinking well Christmas isn't going to be the same this year what's the point uh, it's all in the attitude you know if, if you're going to Put a wee bit of uh, thought into it, a wee bit of planning. You can you can enjoy it uh, as you usually do. So you know, look out. Maybe you've got a, a top with some uh, silver or gold on it. A wee bit of sparkle, some sequins, um, and you know, it, it, you don't need to be wearing your your ball gown and your tiara, but just a, a wee bit of effort. Wear something green one day, wear something red the next day, gold, silver. You know, just a, a, a wee thing to to get some Christmas wear. And I have been to our fantastic uh, local Danish library and I'll see if I can put a wee uh, film here. You can see it kind of rolling at the side uh, because I, I've mentioned before, I keep a list in my holiday control journal of things that I like to read at Christmas. I like to read Christmas things. And in the wee video there, you can see uh, this is just our local library, their selection of Christmas books and they've got uh, do-it-yourself uh, Christmas gifts. Uh, there's um, uh, Christmas music, Christmas DVDs, Christmas novels, <laughs> you, you name it, they've got it. And, and I picked up a selection and I'll put these um, on my blog, dandenmark.com. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know how I get on with them. Um, but some of them are in English, some of them are in Danish. This is Tessa Everly Homemade Christmas, which looks quite a nice one. I picked up that one because of the Christmas crackers. I'm making one crackers this year. Haven't got a video on that yet, but there will be one coming. Uh, Hosey Anderson, which is Hans Christian Anderson uh, Yule. Uh, Yule is Danish word for Yule. See where that comes from. Um, Alan Bradley, I picked up that one. I, I really enjoy his uh, Flavia de Luce books, and this is a Christmas themed one. Um, but ju just be warned, because uh, a lot of your favourite authors may have a Christmas mystery, but not all of them are, are good, because I am... Um, I've had, you know, I quite enjoy Anne Perry books, but there was one of the ones that I picked up that was either last Christmas or Christmas before, and it was really uh, dire, I, I didn't finish it. And the same with one of my favourite authors, Simon Brett, who did a kind of Christmas uh, mystery thing. Um, and again, and you had to solve the clues, and, and that was really bad too. So, so please don't, don't, don't go buying stuff, you can get them from your local library, that's great. Uh, I picked up this one, it's a chick lit one, not sure I will read it, but... I mean, how can you resist a cover like that? Um, and a DIY book of photos. I've actually borrowed this before because I, I made some uh, pictures of me and my besties. I, I cut out our, our heads and uh, this is an, an easy paper folding one. I'm not sure if I made a video about that. I've done, I've done a lot of craft videos. They're on the playlist up there. Uh, this is called Put Up Till in Guana Yule, which means uh, decorate to a, a greener Christmas. It's obviously things which are used uh, from recycled or things you can uh, knit or crochet yourself. Um, and a lot of uh, nice ideas in there. Oh, and last couple for you. Uh, Yule, this is obviously a Danish book. Uh, again, with things for indoors and outdoors and things you can make yourself. This looks quite nice. And this one I picked up, this is a Swedish one, Yulboken, by Christina Strand. Yes, here we are, here we are there. Uh, and this looked really nice too, very, uh, I, I like the Scandinavian style of, um, you know, very, very uh, basic, you know, uh, white, green, natural things. Also because we can start kind of decorating now and it's a kind of winter, winter decoration. And also it carries us all the way through until the light starts coming back in February, March. Instead of, you know, the things that are screaming 
uh, you know, gold, gold and, and green Christmas. So anyway, uh, I hope you, you will have a little bit of sugar for yourself this week. See what your local library has got. Uh, I, I've also got another couple of books which I'm still waiting for, which I'm in, I'm in the queue. Uh, the uh, Agatha Christie, Hercule Poirot mystery that I read every single year. You know, how many times have I read it? But it's just a real sugar thing for me. And I've started listening to an audio book. I'll put it here. Um, and it's a cosy Christmas mystery. I, I, I listened to the first one in the summer and I was out, out in the garden doing summer gardening and listening to a Christmas mystery. And the first one was really good, so I'm now listening to the second one. So you can, you can take a wee uh, look at those. Maybe you can find them for free on some kind of uh, streaming thing that, that you have. So anyway, uh, I hope you have a, a, a nice uh, hygge day. Remember, with the Christmas planning, just take it slow and easy. Uh, as I said, get the candles going, get a nice cup of tea or maybe a hot chocolate with a wee bit of cinnamon sprinkled on the top and just keep it cosy out there. So on that note, I'm going to get going because I can hear that our <laughs> uh, lovebirds, Tweet and Sparky are clamouring for attention. So anyway, uh, live long and prosper. May the Danish Eula Hooga be with you and I shall see you very soon. Okay, bye for now. Da, 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 da. Ho, ho, ho.